Nigeria. Now, it does seem that the result of these elections have brought some sort of hardship by the way of the AKT state current governor. Now, EFCC has opened a closed file upon his uh, on his matter. Now, we know that the, the immunity clause, as provided by the 99 Constitution, provides that as a governorship, you're, as a governor, rather, you're immune from certain dictates of the law. Now, the EFCC has said to Fireshe, party over, see you soon. They tweet, they made this known via a picture they posted on Twitter, and the quote, the, the caption was, the cloak of immunity torn apart and the staff broken, hashtag AKT, integrated poultry project slash biological concepts limited 1.3 billion naira fraud case file dusted off the shelf. Now this was disclosed on Sunday by official EFCC on Twitter. The post was accompanied with a photograph of what looks like a dilapidated poultry stru structure. Now, this came out after the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, announced the results of Saturday's governorship election in the state. Fire candidate, Professor Kolakpo Olushola Eleka of the People's Democratic Party, lost to Mr. Karade Faimi of the All Progressives Congress. Now, we know that from time immemorial, people have oftentimes advocated that the immunity clause be expunged from the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, stating that it expressly gives governors and people in the hem of affairs the power to be able to launder our money to pleasure our commonwealth and to feel that it can get away scot-free. But it gives me hope with the knowledge of people like Justice Banjoko, who is now fondly referred to as 1414, who has sent People who were in power and covered by the immunity cloak, she sent them behind bars. We've said here on Hello Nigeria several times that if you break a law, we want to see that people are dancing to the tune that they have played. So if you break a law, regardless of the position that you're standing in, we want to ensure that people are sent to jail. That will serve as a deterrent to other people coming behind. We know oftentimes that when people see an example being made, it might not totally stop crime, but to a large extent, it will prevent, it will reduce the incidences of fraud. It would also re encourage Nigerians, because we know that a lot of Nigerians have lost, lost faith in our judicial system. Now, seeing that these people are sent to jail for crimes they committed, we sort of rekindle faith in the heart of Nigerians. We want to see more takes on what people have to say with regards to the immunity clause. But first of all, we're definitely waiting for the comeback of, uh, of the current Deputy State Governor to hear what he has to say in this regard. Do you think he would cower at the tweets put out by the EFCC, or do you think he would have something even more dramatic to say? Ayo Fayoshi has been one of the most interesting governors Nigeria has had, and I look forward to hearing what he has to say in this regard. But more importantly, I look forward to the Lord taking its course, and if at the end of the day his hands are filed, found filthy, let him indeed pay the price for the crime that he has committed. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.